Okay. Another click here is John's. This is my PC. It's called John's PC. It tells you current resolution, your driver, your operating system you're using, amount of RAM, your CPU, and video card. Okay, here's a new thing called game streaming. Stream games from your PC to NVIDIA Shield. As you see, mine says ready. Game optimization, optimize games, ready. Game optimization, it'll tell you what it's meant for. The 700 series, 6, 5, 400, etc. And what you could use it for. You need at least 2 gigs of RAM or higher. Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8. Game streaming, again, here it is there. So there's your three little clicks here. Preferences, let me show you this quickly. Um, here's just a license agreement and stuff like that. Obviously, your language, you're going to pick your language and set it. Windows event logging, uh, I left alone. Okay, so that's in general. Here's games. If you see, you click games. Check now, I'm going to show you. Last checked was on uh, just actually a minute ago, but let's do it now. It's refreshing. If you see, checking for updates. And it's still going through its list. Let me just show you so you guys could use this. And it's done. So as you see, um, this is where it's um, C programs. It's where it's keeping all the information of your games. Automatically scan for games daily. I would, yeah, if you can check it or not. Optimal game settings. Recommend optimal settings. I do recommend you checking that. Notify me when optimal settings are updated. Yes, check it. Automatically apply optimal setting updates. Yes. All right. So that's what this screen is for preferences. Now updates. Um, automatically check for updates put it as once a day. If you're real fanatical, you can go once an hour, once a week, but I would leave it at once a day. Check now. Again, if you click it, you got checking for updates. And it'll obviously not find anything unless there was an update a minute ago. Now on updates, automatically download driver updates and let me choose when to install them. You can check that, guys. Um, you could definitely check that if you want. Automatically download it, all right? And what that'll do is, is it'll... Um, download it and all of a sudden you'll see a bubble pop up telling you that there's a new driver. I check it every day anyway, so but you can check it, no problem. And here's your stuff. Graphic driver, check. GeForce Experience, which is, is uh, about. That's check. Game and program pro profile, including SLI and 3D Vision it installs automatically. Yes, include beta updates. Always check that. Beta updates are always going to be the newest drivers and then it'll become certified. 99% of the time, so definitely include that because it's unchecked when you get it. Then notify me when updates are available. That's what I have checked. That's why I automatically uh, download driver updates and let me choose. I have it unchecked because it'll let me know because I like to go to a Vita website directly and download the drivers. Guys, anybody who just got the 780 or any of these new cards, do not recommend you. You do get the disc with the driver on it. I definitely recommend you going to Vita's website and downloading the newest driver directly from their website. All right. So that's really it and you got to send feedback. Thanks. So I just wanted to show you what this Invita GeForce experience is about and the little things that it comes with it just so you guys if anybody didn't know how to use it or anything like that. Any other issues about installing drivers, let me know. I'll do a video about it. I think I did one in the past, but that's it. I just wanted to do this quick video and let you guys know about the Invita GeForce experience which is uh, a really cool new feature with the uh, 700 cards. Thanks, guys.